It is interesting though. I've only seen a few bodies so far. It didn't look like any of them were um, civilians. So I wonder if that's like something with like bot programming, mech programming, or is that, am I just reading too much into it? Eh, probably a little bit from column A, probably a little bit from column B. All right, so the boat's a little sunk. That's fine. Welcome back, Yo-Yo. Good to have you back again, good sir. You haven't missed much. I'm not dead yet. Time, time. Give me anything but time. You ain't going to die. Nah, I'm too pretty. Exactly. And by pretty, I mean ugly. Excuse you. <clears throat> What'd you just say? Uh, I said I was ugly. You're grounded. Yeah, yeah, I'm not flying at the moment. No more video games for the rest of the evening. Oh, well, it's a good thing I'm doing my survival training then. <sighs> Otherwise, how many times Jerry would have died in a robot apocalypse? Way number 2,438. Hitter. No. So, let's see what we call it doing on here. Ooh, look at the, ra look at the um, stuff there. That's ah, just pretty. All right, so. No, comments up here, you can't get up here. Oh, well, I mean, she can. No. It just end badly for everybody. Okay, so nothing on that side of the mountain, but at least I climbed it. All right, let's see. Let me figure out a way to shed some light on the subject. So what have we got? We're off aiming now. All right, so let's go more towards here. I'm looking for a military base, Veslin. I haven't the foggiest where it is. What are you doing on her? Why are you doing on her? Let's see. All right, I see another farm. Lots of farm. I do not see any moving lights indicative of, you know. Oh, I know where I'm at. Oof. Yeah, I remember where I'm at. So I can get over to this so I can go. Better view. Because I believe that relay beacon I destroyed the other day is not far from here. And this is the other place I'm worried about robots having respawned.
Yep, yeah, because there's the emergency lights for that vehicle. Remember that. So I don't remember. Right, so where am I right now? Splitting the difference between these two. to the top of this and take a look see Lou. Okay. All right, so there's that other car. Up to the top of the hill. This area. This is the furthest I've made it so far. Uh, I'm working on that too this weekend, yo yo. Because, like I said, I've actually got time to disassemble everything. I've got a four day weekend this weekend. Since it's Memorial Day weekend, I've got, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. And then I've also got Tuesday off because the other housemate uh, needs to get an endoscopy done. And um, I have a doctor's appointment on Tuesday, so it's just easier for me to take another day off. Only thing I have to do this weekend is go pick the uh, other housemate up from some friends that they're staying with, and that's it. Which is good. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting robots. I'm betting I'm probably supposed to go down this way. I'm going to take a quick detour over to this side and then make my way around.
swear I thought I heard a robot. Oh, yep. Hunter prototype class. Difficulty hard. Great. Just flipping fantastic. Oh, safe house up ahead, though. I can get to it. Um, I don't think so. I only have a few Sega Saturn games, um, and I don't think I have loaded. It's not one I, I recall in my collection, and in fact, I don't see it over uh, on my shelf. this to me. Where? Okay, distance, don't know the distance. Way too far. Was again? Is that it? Town.
hate it when it's robots like. Trying to get it slip. Uh oh, please tell me it's I think it is. Okay, I know there's more mechs around here than this. On the other hand, I'm very patient in this. Oh, okay, that's a radio tower. I wonder if that's the military base I'm looking for. Anybody want to lay odds on that? I got a dollar on it. Let's see. Okay. safe house would be very nice if so question is what's outside the safe house Hastavik May be about to encounter another new robot tonight. Nice. Uh, preferably before it kills me. But remember, it's not a death unless I run out of the adrenaline sticks. Once I'm actually having to respawn at a safe point, safe house, then that's a that's a death. Shipping truck of some kind.
I should be close enough at this point to see any enemies nearby. Safe house unlocked. All right. Ooh, four by eight rifle scope. A simple first aid kit. Oh, I feel a little bit better now. Because for one thing, that means that I don't have to travel as far now um, if I need to go rest somewhere. So let's see, what else have we got here? Anything? Red driver's gloves. That looks like the entrance to a bunker or a base of some kind. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Could be a tunnel. Or was that a tent? Mm. Nope, side of a mountain. I will climb that mountain with my horse. Hmm. Where or oh, where? Oh, where, oh, where could they be? I mean, seriously, where the hell are the bots? I can't imagine they just leave the whole area undefended. Hmm. There really are no bots here that I can see. What if the game is on some weird, like, time cycle? And depending on the time in-game, like, determines if the bots are out. Hmm. Probably it's a possibility, but unlikely. Or, or maybe the code to have the bots attack being... This is online, right? Not really. Oh. I mean, yes, it, there's a server component to it. Wait, but was that a door and a door? Yeah, that's what we like to refer to as a graphical bug. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? Yep, nope. You're the only one that saw that. Oh. Darn. So, oh, oh God, go down, go down. Keep your head down, idiot. Failure to keep your head down is the primary cause of losing it. Mm -hmm. What was that? Oh, God. Oh, 
shit. Oh, wow. Okay, that was quick. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh god, there's more than one of them. I don't think I've ever seen a robot dance before. I don't know what they think they're trying to do. Last one. That's a good one. what I've been saving all these up for. So this is actually one of the few times I kind of almost wish I had a, uh,
They got me like right in that one little sweet spot. This is a trap. This is what pissed off her about. Ridiculous. This is when I do wish I had. Oh, wait, I know what I've got. Why didn't I think of that before? Oh God.
that worked. It was not the way it was supposed to work. Dude. Holy crap. Hey, Silent Hero. Welcome, welcome. I am playing some Generation Zero. I'm doing okay this evening. Been a long week, but happy to still be here. How are things down in your neck of the woods? Whew. Wow. That, my friends, was intense. That was very much like camping. It was intense. So this is called uh, Generation Zero. It is a game I had heard about in Early Access for a while. Um, I don't normally buy a lot of Early Access games, so I'd held off until a guy on YouTube by the name of Entech or Intech had posted a video about the, the game, and I remembered I had it on my Steam wish list. So um, he really liked it. I enjoyed the first few minutes of gameplay that he showed off. So I went ahead and um, purchased it. And uh, I've been having a blast. It's a stealth shooter, uh, stealth open world survival game. Um, you have no clue. You, you, you're, you and your friends are coming back from a camping trip. Your boat gets hit by artillery uh, on the way in. It's in 1989 Sweden. So it's middle of Cold War. No clue where the mechs came from and where all the people are. I mean, it's literally like the people just got up and left. So, I mean, overall, I mean, it's, I've been enjoying it so far. I don't normally play games like this, but mechs plus guns plus semi-realistic survival. It's like, sign me up. Um, and so far, the mech varieties have been really good. Um, no major complaints there. Um, I mean, I've just been enjoying the heck out of it. Um, right now, I have no qualms about recommending this. Uh, it's, I think, 35 right now. Um, but even at that price, I mean, it, it is well worth it. I have, I have no qualms about recommending it at that price. Yeah, so I'm also working on getting more content on my YouTube channel like this. Right now, I've been putting up my Twitch streams a few days after I air them. Um, but I'm also going to do a full walkthrough eventually. Um, I've been recording the game footage without me and my overlay and anything like that in it. So the idea is, is I'll post that later. And anybody who just wants to see the gameplay will have a clean Let's Play of it. So how are things in y'all's neck of the woods? Also, I'd like to know that I spent more ammo in that encounter than I think I have the entire game so far. Oh, really? Yeah. Boreal would be proud. Nice. All right. Find the home of the scar. Strength in numbers. So, locate the safe house. Location on Nora Saltoman. Locate the military base. Vessian. Okay. Yeah, one of the things, oh, yay. Uh, one of the things I'm working on too, Silent Hero, is um, getting some more uh, retro game repair footage up on the on my YouTube channel. 
Um, I've got to do some stuff uh, with my original Xbox um, that's going to require some minor repairs. i got to remove the capacitor battery for one thing. Um, but I'm going to... I've already recorded partial disassembly of the original Xbox, so I'm going to be adding uh, more of that in as well. Oh, my goodness. Gee, it's almost like they expected me to search the house first before I thought all of those things. Silly me. Good lord, do I need some more health packs. I am not going to lie. up way more of those health packs than I wanted to. Okay. okay, at least I got some places to look now. over here. Alright, well here's hoping there's no collectibles in there. Oh crap. I just do what I think I did. Oh, I have been known to get myself stuck in the level of geometry in this game. It's a fun little uh, quirk. in here? Yes, indeed. I do believe I see a long box. Uh, nope, that is a... Why does that seem like that's better than the one I have now? Nope, it isn't. That's is just supposed to be the base stats for that gun. Okay. I'll take the ammo. Everything good? I was actually, I've been looking for this freaking song forever, and somebody was able to find it like that. Nice. Power of the Internet Hive Mind. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see. I'll take some more ammo, please, because I used a lot of it. I really think that's like the most ammo expenditure I've done so far. And that just shows how incredibly tough some of these are going to be. Um, and why stealth is a major, major gameplay component. I mean, if, we, if you didn't know that stealth was a requirement before now, you yes, certainly do now. Because, uh, good grief. Also, a quick question for all the people lurking at the moment. How many people here have watched uh, Reboot, the old cartoon series? You've seen the first episode as of tonight, partner of mine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, oops.
spot me? Whence did you spot me? like a modem. Guys, I really wasn't trying to like have a massive firefight here. That was like totally not my intention. I mean, I appreciate all the XP, but not the dying so much. Wow. Yeah, yo, yo, that CGI cartoon. Happens to still be one of my all-time favorites, actually. Okay. Ooh, hey, guess what I've got now? Some slugs. You remember I was telling you about those? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, they're the uh, shotgun shell that's just a giant, like, bullet in there, right? Yup. You got it. Got it in one, dear. Yeah, the, I actually I found on um, YouTube, and I don't know if it's legit or not, but somebody posted all the episodes. So um, I showed Puck the first one this evening. Love and it. Yep, so we're probably going to watch another one or two before bed, but I haven't watched it in ages. Such a good cartoon. I'm way ahead of its time. Whew. 
Oh, Darkwing Duck. Yeah, Darkwing Duck, like DuckTales, was such a good cartoon, too. I don't make cartoons like that as much anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong. Newer cartoons today are not bad. They're just different. And sometimes I'm looking for different, and sometimes I'm not. I blew through every med kit I have. I literally have one health point right now. I still got a few adrenaline shots left, which is good. All right, let's switch back over from the shotgun to the assault right, to the automatic rifle. Let's see. Ooh, yay! More ammo. Is there another robot that I like missed? Oh, crap. Ooh, another weapon crate. I can't tell. I think the shotgun I've got is better than that already.
Oh god, ow. Jeez, what the hell is he back in? Gotta have adrenaline shots. All of them now? Good grief. This is ridiculous. I've never seen this many mechs in my life. I'm getting bored. Ooh, sorry if I, my focus was a little away, guys. I was busy trying not to die. Which, good grief, if I was counting those, I totally would have been dead by now. Good grief. That was insanity. No. Because you didn't do the same thing and expect different results. Oh, true. What? So, I couldn't remember the lyrics from this song. Uh-huh. And the only video I could find didn't have the song in it. Okay. So, I sent it to a friend who literally, like, within three seconds was able to figure out the song I was talking about. Nice. That's always a good thing. Yeah, I was just like, I have been searching for, like, three hours for this song, and this guy was able to find it, like, instantly. <sighs> Good lord. Well, that sucked. How far are you from the safe house? Uh, not far. I'm gonna save in just a minute and be done for the night, but, man, I just was not expecting um, that much of a firefight. Yeah, well, there was just no ex expectation of that. I mean, I can't figure, unless it was due to the, I guess, possible story stuff here. But, I mean, other than that, there isn't anything here that was, like, extraordinarily important. Not any like secret plans or high powered weapons or anything like that. Shh. 
Sheesh. All right, so we're gonna go back to the safe house in just a second to close out for the night. Thank I've explored everything here now. Just gonna make sure that all those enemies over there are very dead. Good grief, I now have a very much newer, bigger enemy to be afraid of. I think I searched all of them. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to end it here for tonight. Uh, just because I'm at the safe house, I'm going to fast travel. Actually, let me do my skill set real quick. I actually have a skill point I can I can raise up. So let's see. Do I want to go ahead and go with the lock picking, or do or do I want to get more? All right. So this one increases the amount of XP you earn for completing missions, or do I want to get? Um, the distance for when I'm spotting through the binoculars raised. I'm thinking lock picking. Um, How many things have you come across that you would need to pick the lock for? Uh, just a couple things so far, and I don't know that they're even worth it aside from just getting maybe some more ammo and weapons. I was thinking um, reload speed or um, run and gun uh, too, so. I don't care about stamina as much. Throw distance and throw accuracy are okay. Um, what about constitution? Don't really have a, a stamina I have. I don't. I don't run all that much. Well, I meant like for your HP. Doesn't work that way, really. They don't have anything for that. Um. Salvage, component damage, EMP expert, mechanic. Scavenge enemy components even if they're damaged. Oh, that's interesting. Um, what about for survival? Health amount. Yeah. But, yeah, but I gotta do a stamina recharge thing first, so. Well, look at it this way. You might not run a lot, but unlocking the HP thing might be worth it for your next couple of levels. Well, what I was thinking is instead, because right now I'm in the middle of doing some missions as well, is going ahead and bumping up the amount of XP I increase because that way I can get another level up faster. Do that. <laughs> Do that then. Okay, let's go with Inquisitive Mind and buy. So next one down is I can um I'll probably like I said, I'll probably go for then stamina recharge and health. Well, what's the hundred percent more EXP or like does it basically double it? Double the amount of EXP you would normally burn? Yeah. I would go with that and then focus on your other things. Because if you can level up faster, then you don't have to really worry much about, you know, when you yeah. pick and choose your things. All right. Well, let me fast travel to one of my other safe houses real quick because I want to just save and, um, like, re-up my med kits. It's holy crap. Oh, dude, I literally went through like 60 med kits. Yeah, you definitely need to do something for your... Uh... Well, part of the problem is, is I'm, th the game doesn't want me to like attack them head on. I was being stealthy about it, but... <sighs> Unfortunately, not stealthy enough. Alright. So, I just want to... Grab some med kits and. If you can, Yo Yo, um, I don't know if you're able to do an unboxing vid, but that would be really cool. Yeah, that really would be, dude. I'd love to see some of those uh, toys. Alright, so 
let's go and you are a simple first aid kit. Okay, cool. Okay. Nope, another pistol that I don't need. My dude's gonna have like adrenal failure with the amount of you know adrenaline things I keep punching him with, which would be amusing if that was a thing that actually happened. You're suffering from oh my god, you caused your heart to explode disorder. All right, so I've already gotten that earlier, which means I probably did not reload these yet. Let's warp back to one last safe house and then I'm logging off. Oh yeah, I found the chess set. Yeah, what's really cool, the one thing I really like about this game is how much they make it make you believe that it's lived in, like it's an actual world and not just a simulation thereof i mean you know you're finding what you would what you would expect to find really You know, it's not like I'm finding some massive cache of weapons or anything like that. What I'm finding is what normal people who were, like, living in the Cold War in Europe would have been prepping with. So, I just think that's pretty cool. All right, so we're going to, uh, let me heal myself real quick, and then we're going to head on back to base. I only had two of the adrenal sticks left. Okay. Oh, we were just saying we'd love to see you do like an unboxing video or something. Because we thought what you were showing off was pretty cool. guys thank you all very very much for coming by as always uh we had a blast as we usually do i enjoy doing this this is this is fun um and i'm shooting for about two hours every night uh well not every night but like um tuesdays thursdays and then friday nights after uh dmp drunken master paul does his cocktail hour um and then saturdays and sundays as much as i can uh, and I'll be getting stuff up on YouTube as, as I finish streaming. So this will be up probably either over the weekend or early next week. Uh, it just depends on how much content I can get made between now and then. 
Um, as always, you know, I, I welcome feedback. I welcome suggestions. Um, and yeah, put, thank you for coming by. If you liked what you saw, throw us a follow. If you really liked what you saw, why don't you use that free sub that if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get for Twitch Hold called on. Twitch Prime. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that if I have Amazon Prime, I get an entirely free sub to throw to anybody on Twitch? Yeah, it doesn't even have to be me. Throw to anybody that you like, uh, that you want to show some support to, or uh, think that they've done a fantastic job. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll, I'd love to take it, but... It's certainly not a requirement, but, you know, I'm, I'm here if you want to use it. Uh, otherwise, you know, yeah, toss it to somebody. Just link your Twitch account and your Amazon Prime account, and you're good to go. Um, other than that, I will see you guys. Let me see, tomorrow's Friday, so likely tomorrow night. Uh, it depends on how I'm feeling and how long uh, Drunken Master Paul does his happy hour. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, as always, let your geek flag fly. We'll see you guys next time, and peace out.